Hello and welcome back to the Watford Ways. Watford beat Birmingham City by two goals to nil at Vicarage Road. A result that we all wanted, a result that I predicted in my match preview. And I wouldn't say Watford were necessarily excellent. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's always great to score a last minute goal, especially when you get two last minute goals in one game. Obviously, Milesa Rejevic scoring the first goal, I think three minutes or so into injury time. And then just before the end of the game, Ryan Andrews coming through the academy, picking up his first ever professional goal and his first goal for Watford as well, which was a great moment. Um, and I'm thoroughly pleased for Ryan Andrews and his family. But let's talk about the game and what I thought about Watford and what I thought about Birmingham City, because actually I thought Birmingham City played relatively well. Watford largely dominated possession, especially in that second half. But actually, Birmingham City had a few opportunities. I distinctly remember there being an opportunity within the first minute. I can't remember who it was through on goal. Uh, but again, Daniel Batman making a save in that situation just one minute into the game. Watford not concentrating, maybe, just after kickoff. Um, and then, yeah, again, Daniel Batman making a really excellent double save uh, quite late on in that second half, actually, just before Birmingham City picked up um, that red card. And that really changed the game for me, that red card, where obviously, you know, playing with a man extra um, is always going to benefit the attacking team in most instances. Um, and it certainly benefited Watford in that instance as well. I think Birmingham City kind of lost their heads a little bit. Um, the referee, in fact, is a Luton fan, which I found quite surprising that he was even allowed to officiate our game. But actually, a lot of the yellow cards yesterday and a lot of the fouls, a lot of the duels went in Watford's favour. Um, and I think Birmingham City picked up, I think it was maybe seven or eight yellow cards. It was a lot of yellow cards they picked up yesterday. And their fans have watched a few videos were getting increasingly frustrated by the referee. And I suppose they are correct in that sense. The game didn't flow maybe as it should have done. A lot of stoppages, a lot of maybe players feigning injuries on, on both sides. Um, but yeah, you know, Watford were patient in our build-up play. Um, and we capitalised on it, you know, in that second half. Mileta Rajovic rising to score a fantastic header past Ruddy in goal. I actually thought Ruddy was going to save it. From where I sit in the stadium in the upper grain Taylor stand, the header didn't really have that much power on it. The placement of the header was excellent in that in that far corner. However, um, I did think maybe Ruddy in goal should have done better for Birmingham City. But besides the point, we went 1-0 ahead at that point. Um, and yeah, it was great to see Ryovic get his first Watford goal in front of the rookery end as well. The scenes in the rookery end um, looks absolutely fantastic. The limbs are fully back at the Vic this season um, and I'm all for it. So congratulations to Maleta Ryovic. Um, and of course, as I mentioned earlier in the video, Ryan Andrews, the academy graduate, he's been with the club since he was nine years old. Um, and I'm absolutely delighted for the guy. I mean, what a strike first of all. It took a slight deflection, um, which meant again, Ruddy couldn't really get to it. Um, but yeah, I'm sure Ryan Andrews is going to take all the credit for that goal. He's had a few opportunities like that this season where he struck the ball quite cleanly, um, but it's either took a nick off a defender or it's not quite been on target. Um, but yeah, he was certainly on target yesterday. And I think Ryan Andrews, for me, um, should be starting ahead of Jeremy Ngakia. Not just because he scored yesterday, but I think just because the attacking aspect of his game is so much better than Ngakia. I think Ngakia yesterday skied about five or six crosses, which was really disappointing, especially when we get into that final third. Um, and Ryan Andrews has that bit, bit, bit more pace than Ngakia. Um, and I think is slightly more composed in terms of his crossing ability um, and his shooting ability in general. is really, really exciting to watch. Um, and obviously recently got called up by the England under-20s team as well, which is great for him personally. And great, great for what the football club, because I think it for me shows... Um, if you are a young player here and you're in our academy or you want to join Watford as a young player, it shows there's a pathway through to the first team, which is excellent. So congratulations to Mileta Rajovic um, and huge congratulations to Ryan Andrews for his first ever professional goal in football um, and his first goal for Watford as well. Well-deserved, Ryan. Um, a bit of news to talk to you about before the end of the video as well. And it came late last night by The Athletic and Adam Leventhal. Now, Adam Leventhal has always been very reliable around Watford news. And the news is about potential contract extension or a contract improvement for Valerian Ishmael. Only six games into the season. Now, I'm not sure what to make of this personally. Um, I think it's positive that we're not sacking a manager six games into a season as we've done so previously. Um, I also think maybe it's a little bit too early to maybe be extending his contract. I don't think he's done enough at the club to say he deserves that extension. Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's a positive that we are throwing our confidence at Blair and Ishmael. I think it's 
Um, from the hierarchy's perspective, from Gina Pozzo's perspective, he's clearly backing the manager he's brought in. Um, but from what I've read, I believe he signed a three-year contract anyway. So from my perspective, I would have just waited until the end of the season, see how we got on. Um, and then if he so deserves a contract extension by that point, then give it to him. Um, but to give it to him six games into a season um, is an interesting decision. It's not a decision I'm going to disagree with necessarily. Um, but I do find it interesting that that's the way they've chose to operate Um yeah, given him a contract extension this quickly into his tenure at Watford. But we'll have to see how that one de develops. But aside from that, I'm very happy. Um, definitely a lot of positives to take from the game yesterday. It took us a long time to break Birmingham City down. So that's full credit to their defence. Um, and actually, I think their goalkeeper could have done better on both goals, in fact. Uh, but yeah, credit to Watford as well. You know, we took our time breaking them down. A lot of back sideward passes um, between Wesley Hute and Ryan Porteous, which was frustrating to watch his time, at times from someone, you know, being at the stadium. Um, it didn't look like we were progressing much up the pitch, but I think the substitutions made a huge difference as well. Yasser Espria picking up the assist for Rajevic's goal was fantastic to see. Yasser Espria, I think when he comes on the pitch and faces tired legs in whatever defence he's facing, um, you know, he can cause real problems. Georgie chat for that saying like left hand side again, he's just very direct. He runs at people um, and scares defenders, which I think is, you know, what you want when, you know, you're 60, 65 minutes into a game. It's nil nil. You want to break them down. I think Yasser Espria and Georgie chat for that say are two real key players for, for Watford this season in terms of the squad rotation roles they're currently playing at the moment. Um, and Ismail Kone was another stand up player for me when he came on the pitch. A big physical presence. Um, and yeah, one of his better games in a Watford shirt, actually. And before the two goals, I thought Tom Deli Bashiri was Watford's man of the match. His ball carrying ability, his dribbling ability, um, picking out certain passes as well, I was very impressed with. So Tom Deli Bashiri, um, before the two goals, Watford scored, was probably my man of the match in the game. But yeah, as I said, positives to take from the performance. And we move on to West Bromwich Albion at Vicarage Road on Wednesday night under the lights. I'm not sure if it's televised, um, but yeah, I do like games under the lights at Vicarage Road. You can't get much better than that. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Um, and yeah, the West Brom Chalvian preview will be out very, very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.